We all know that video recording technology has greatly improved over the last few years, giving us clearer and better quality images than ever before. However, this improvement also brings with it an unfortunate side effect, for sometimes these recordings take on a life of their own and even appear to be haunted by something evil or unnatural. From ghosts to demons, these cursed videos are sure to give you goosebumps. What's even more terrifying than these horrifying videos? The fact that they were all completely real. Check out our list of six cursed videos you won't believe exist, if you dare. Number one, my dead great grandma's coffin in my own backyard. It is chilling, not only for the content, but also because it is eerily plausible. His local cemetery is so poorly managed and unable to maintain his quality that he has decided to keep his great grandmother's casket in his yard instead. It gets worse because the video ends with him opening her coffin to find her partially decayed body and he then kisses it full on the mouth. He kisses a rotten, decaying body and there is video footage of it. It's hard to talk about because the video itself is telling the story. There's more than enough. Take a look for yourself. Number two, man gets lost in the catacombs of Paris. Even though the authenticity of this footage is uncertain, it is horrifying. A vast and tangled maze of underground tunnels that are known as the catacombs of Paris has invaded the city of light. Though about a mile of the structure is open for tours, they can't hold all of the ghost hunters and thrill seekers so many find a way to enter the off-limits section and explore the darkness. An episode of ABC Family's Scariest Places on Earth from 2000 shows what was supposedly found footage which charts the demise of an explorer as he loses himself in the dark and winding tunnels. Throughout the video, the man is calm and subdued, but gradually moves at a more rapid pace and eventually discards the handheld camera and speeds off into the darkness. The camera continues to film even after he disappears out of sight, revealing a still and deserted tunnel that prompts this inquiry. It's unclear if he lost his way and panicked or if he was running from something. Paintings uh, that we may be able to retrace his itinerary to some extent. We hear his breathing get louder and louder, uh, as though something was scaring him. He was, he's, he's frightened, he's frightened. Occasionally he stops, perhaps, to try to decide which way to run among all the many different corridors. Number three, Croatian stalking tape. This video appears to be actual Croatian authorities' footage that they've released in the hopes of finding the video's creators. The video shows two Croatian teens as they test out their new camera in the park. There appears to be a man following them around. The man has a sack over his head and is hunched an ape -like. As he approaches the teens, he ends up right next to them. The teens run into a nearby building and appear to have lost him. As the elevator opens, the video cuts to screaming as they exit. Number four, Robert Johnny. The video, as one of the first wanted by YouTube, became popular to slip into hidden folders and renamed Erles. A stricken friends, the subject of the video is a handicapped young man who appears to have trouble holding his head upright. Nonetheless, he begins dancing to an EDM track as a chihuahua watches in admiration. Nevertheless, the wavering night vision images and sudden, unsteady cuts combine to take away all the joy from the scene and make it jerky, nauseating, and downright disquieting. Number 5. And Thing. Chase St. John is just that something weird and bizarre. Between 2006 and 2009, Eric Fournette uploaded a number of videos. In the storyline for these YouTube videos, Chase St. John is a former model who rebuilt herself with the body parts of mannequins. As you'd expect from nonsensical content, the videos are weird. The most popular of his videos is Hand Thing, which received 4 million views within days of its original upload. In the video, another mannequin humanoid walks into the room, pestering Miss Shay to teach them the Hand Thing, and both of them keep slamming their wooden hands together. Number six, the Max Headroom incident. In 1987, in Chicago, on a PBS broadcast of Doctor Who, the show was interrupted by a really strange video of someone wearing a Max Headroom mask. In the short video, the man in the mask looked directly into the camera while being spanked by a woman wielding a fly swatter. This famous news event was captured on video and became a part of local legend. Years later, the video resurfaced on YouTube, but to this day, the identity of the culprit remains unknown. 